All right, everybody. So I recently got a question on how you can set up submenus on system.io. They currently don't have submenu options. However, I use HTML to create something like this. That way you can add multiple links within one menu. It just makes things more efficient. So um, this is the back end of system.io. This is where I put the page. So you can see here, this is a raw HTML element here. If we click that and go to edit code, we're able to see the code that I added here. I'm just going to go walk, walk over this for you guys. So pretty much in, in these style brackets from here to here, it's all the styling. So the color, the font size, the font type and stuff. Uh, I don't think you need to worry about anything specifically, especially if you're just trying to do something like this, or we're just like uh, right aligned and just simple links. I'm just going to show you how to edit the links and change the colors as well. So we're going to go back to our editor. I added this comment here. This is where we're going to edit the intersection, which is this thing here, the section. And this is where you can change the color, right? So if we change, for example, if we do red here, and we hit save and save this page again, we're going to refresh this other one. And we're going to see that it changed that inner box colors, box colors to red. Uh, but you can go ahead and play around with that, see what works for you and what doesn't. So let me just change this back to orange. And let me see what else. Oh, yeah. So this area here, I'm actually going to put this um, a comment right now while we're at it. So hover color. So this is a color that's going to be highlighted once you hover over that specific section as you can see here i highlight over this and it's orange let me just refresh this so if we want to i don't know let's do blue just to show you how it works so i just save that save this again and we're going to refresh this and now as you can see it changed that color to blue so you can go ahead and play around with that as well now i'm going to show you how to add the links as well let me just change this back to how everything was i had orange here and then this section here div section here this is where we're going to add the links as you can see this is an unordered list from here to here this is the whole menu items here the li means it's a list which means this is just one menu item so I'm, I'm going to add, add this code to the bottom of this page so you guys can see how. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you can just copy and paste this. When I give this to you guys, it's just going to have a number sign like that. When this number sign, this is where you're going to add any link that you have, wherever you want to send them through that page. So in this case, it's funnelvibe.com. And then within these brackets, within this A and this A, these brackets here, this is where you're going to add the the name, the menu name that you want to add. So in that case, it's home here. So, uh, so yeah, so now this is where we add the sub menu here. So you're going to have this area here. So what, let's, say, let's say you want to create another sub menu. So we're going to grab this list all the way down to here. Paste it. And then all you got to do is just add that new link here for that main for that main um, button that main link and then add that name here so in this case templates let me just do i don't know let's do shop for example and this ul element here as well this is where we're going to add those sub menu items so in this case i don't know i'm just going to leave these links like this actually i'm just going to Add that number sign, keep it simple. But you're going to replace this little number sign with your actual link. And this is where you're going to add the submenu items. So submenu one. And then I'm just going to paste this submenu two. And then submenu three. All right, so now we can hit save. Hit save. And then we can see if that actually worked for us. You can see we added this shop icon here. 
and I added these submenus here as well. I, I didn't link out to them. I just added that number sign, which you can see here when I clicked it, it added that to the end. And then this squished here in between just because I think I have this set in in wide mode. So we can just stretch this out, something like that, hit save. If you're trying to add multiple items on the top, and that way it should all fit within one line here as well. Now you can see we have multiple submenus and it also looks good. Also, I mean, you might not have like a dark header up top, so you're probably gonna have to change the color of that. You can change the color of the text in this area here. So let me just do this text color. Um, so let's say leave. This is where we change it. If not, we can figure it out. As you can see, it did change it. So refresh. Let's say you have a white background, white header. You can just change the color as well. So this this code is super flexible and simple. I didn't want to overcomplicate things for you guys. Um, so hopefully you guys like that feature. And then one other thing I'm gonna say is it's not mobile. More, it's not mobile friendly right now. So what I did for this is I actually, I, I guess you could use it mobile in a mobile, but it might just take up too much space in a mobile device. So what I did here is I actually added two, too many items. So I used the actual menu item for system.io, which is this one here and here. So let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me just pop open that one. And then let me just duplicate that one. So the other two elements you're gonna have here in the menu. Uh, one of them is gonna be shown in the mobile version, another one's gonna be shown in the desktop version. So we want this this submenu one to be shown in the desktop version. So we can just click on that and remove it from the mobile device. That way it's only shown on desktop. And then we can click on this mobile one and just add the same links you have in that uh, that element here on these menu items. And then you're going to go down and you're going to hide it from the desktop. So you're going to hit save. That way, when when somebody lands on this page and then desktop version, they can see this sub menu items. And then if they do end up in a mobile version, let me just go like that. It's going to show them that mobile version, which is this hamburger menu here where they can click on. It's going to show them the links here. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, I'm going to post this code here that I added for you guys to use. You guys can just copy and paste this and use it for yourself.